Hello, I'm Faith and I'm a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how users can enable HTTPS for their AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment using AWS Certificate Manager. There are two ways in which this can be done. The first way is using the AWS Management Console and the second way is using the Elastic Beanstalk command line interface. So let's get started. Make sure that you have the following setup. An Elastic Beanstalk environment. If you do not have one set up already, you can use the link on the screen to guide you on how to do this. An ACM certificate issued in the same region as your Elastic Beanstalk environment. So, let's make sure that our ACM certificate is ready to use in the same region as the Elastic Beanstalk. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the AWS Certificate Manager Console. You can request a free public certificate using ACM or import a certificate into ACM. When your certificate has the status of issued, it is ready to use with your Elastic Beanstalk environment. For example, I have an issued certificate in the Ireland region. At the moment, your certificate might have the value of no for the in use column. This is fine. This changes to yes when you are using the certificate with your Elastic Beanstalk environment. However, if the certificate is already in use, it will have the value of yes. So let's begin with the AWS Management Console approach for configuring HTTPS. Navigate to the Elastic Beanstalk Console and make sure you are in the same region as the ACM certificate. Here, I am in the same region, that is, the island region for Elastic Beanstalk. Then choose the environment you want to configure HTTPS for. In the left navigation pane, choose Configuration. Scroll down to the Load Balancer category and choose the Edit button. We will be adding a listener to the Application Load Balancer, so choose Add Listener. For port, enter the numbers 443. For protocol, choose HTTPS. For SSL certificate, choose your ACM certificate. When you can see your issued certificate, choose the SSL policy that you want to use from the drop-down list. It is best practice to use the latest security policy. Choose Add. Now choose Apply. Note that the changes we've made so far will be applied only after we click the Apply button. This should take a few minutes to apply. You can review the recent events to confirm that the configuration changes you made were applied successfully. Congrats! Now you know how users can configure HTTPS for the Elastic Beanstalk environment using AWS Certificate Manager. Now, we've done this using the AWS Management Console, but I am also going to show you how you can do this using the Elastic Beanstalk command line interface. For this part, make sure you configure the Elastic Beanstalk CLI for your environment. If you have not done so already, you can use the link on screen. Run the eb init command to choose your environment that you want to configure HTTPS for. To check the health status of the environment and to confirm the environment, I'll use the eb status command. I can see that my environment is configured and is healthy. Now I am going to create the .eb extensions directory. I am going to now create my secure listener configuration file inside the .eb extensions directory. I'll be using this configuration file to store my HTTPS configuration for my Elastic Beanstalk environment. 
Let's save our option underscore settings that adds the listener and the HTTPS configuration in this file. In the Certificates ARN section, we will paste in the ARN of our ACM issued certificate. Let's save our modifications. And now let's deploy the changes to our environment. You can confirm that the configuration changes are complete by checking the configuration page of your environment in the AWS Management Console. Please note that you must update the DNS records for the domain in your DNS provider so that the requests made to your domain are forwarded to your Elastic Beanstalk environment. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>